we're looking at um, the classic riffs played by uh, Wendy Melvoin, who was um, part of Prince's uh, backing band back in the day. And uh, my word, I think she was only like 19 maybe when, um, when she performed this, which was a live recording that they eventually um, did a couple of overdubs and that it became the, the studio version, which is just insane in itself for such a classic tune, right? Now, if you want a super in-depth look at the tone, then go and check out Chris Buck's channel. He's got a superb um, video for this. I'll put a link below. And he's a fellow Welshman and he's just a sensational guitar player. So if you've never heard of him, go look him up. He is awesome and your life will be better because of it. So, the chords. First off, we've got... Can also play that here. But Wendy plays it down here, so... We are two. That's zero, three, one, one. Next chord, same thing, but with G in the bass. You can either play that with your third finger, which means that the A string gets muted, or you can bring your thumb over if you're inclined and just use your first and third fingers for the other notes. I find that uncomfy, so I'm going with that. Then the um, third chord is an F major. Fourth chord, tricky one. And you'll notice when she plays this live, her guitar is right up at an angle, almost classical style. And you can play it up here. Basically got a ninth added to it. Something Andy Summer loves. All that stuff, right? But she frets it here, and that's why often you'll hear. You hear the root note first, and then you get a bit of time to add your fingers, right? And there I'm using first, all my fingers actually, so. Second and uh, third are basically on the eighth fret. Little finger needs to be able to play the tenth fret though. You've got to really arch your finger. So my thumb is low down. It's about it's about here on the back of the neck, right? To get um, to get that angle to get them all ringing out. So those are the chords, right? And you can just play those. Good, but I'm going to show you the actual intro in all its glory, and that's going to be like this, right? Tabs up here, so we're not going to call out the notes, but it's just three beats of this. Then you've got this. Okay, so then so you're just taking your third finger off. And letting the second finger uh, play the, where is that, second fret on the, on the G. You hold the chord shape. And you're really strumming lightly there, right? Now the strumming's just down, up, down, up, but you start on the top two. Okay? And then, and that bit goes. So that's one, two, three. And then you hit the third fret again on the uh, G. So it kind of expands out, right? Really lovely sound. And the last beat is three on the, on the upper register of the chord, right? And the open E. And then there's the F. So, that second chord slowly. So 
So the third bar is just. And a whack, right? So it's two on the root. And then two four chords. And then two more. And there, I'm just covering all the strings. Then you've got a little bit of time to move up your first finger up to the sixth fret and play. So that through slowly. Two, three, four. I'll spend a bit of time on that because it's just brilliant. But subsequent times, you can just do what you like. For now, just make it your own. feel into it as you can. Now the structure of the tune is pretty straightforward really. You play um, all those chords round and then the second time round you play and that's the purple rain part right so you just extend it by adding two beats of I think it's two beats of an F chord and then you go to a normal B. And that's the purple rain bit, right? Um, then the chorus is this. So, and there's another bit of solo too, right? So all you're playing there is that D sharp chord for two bars. Uh, B flat sus two, I think, for a bar. Then the second chord in the verse. F for three bars. two beats, then B flat, and that just loops around a load, and then for the solo you have um, B flat to G to F to D sharp I think, so it just plays a bar of each. And that's with that over the top right and that's my friends is it so there you have it i hope you enjoyed that one um it's a brilliant tune isn't it and if you want prince's parts a solo and all that sort of stuff then um do comment below and i will sort that out only too happy to because it's just a banging tune um also um if you've followed this then you have a head start in the next lesson so see what's coming up next there's a lot of very similar chords in it see you soon cheers bye bye